What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the face at a three-quarter view. So let's get started. So when I'm drawing any kind of face in any kind of video I'm making, I always start out with a circle. So obviously my circle isn't perfect and it doesn't have to be, but it just has to be a circle. Because the human skull is not exactly a circle, but it's rounded enough to be a circle. Because here I'm drawing a cartoon face. And by thinking the skull is close enough to a circle, it helps us draw the face. So, that's so why I'm going to start off with a circle. So now that our circle is drawn, let's begin to draw our center line. So our center line is going to start at the top of the circle, but instead of going down at a front view, it's actually going to be at a three quarter view. So the center line, if it were straight, it's just going to be slanted either this way or that way, depending on the direction that the character is facing. If they're facing to the left, draw a center line that slants this way. If they're facing to the right, then draw a center line that's slanted to the right. But I'm going to do mine slanted to the right so it's going to look somewhat like a parenthesis symbol like this okay and now let's make another line on this circle like about three quarters of the way down and that's also going to be slanted too And this line is the line that the eyes are going to lie on. And you may notice that it also intersects this other center line that we just drew. And that's what we want because that's where the nose is going to start. But we're not onto that part yet. We just want to draw the center lines as a guide to help us draw everything else before we get to that portion. Okay? So after drawing this line that goes straight across the circle, we can start at this point where it connects to the circle and begin to draw the face shape. So I'm going to make a curve that goes outward like this for a cheek. And then it's going to come inwards and touch this center line. Like that. And then it's going to come back up and come close to the other end of this circle. Like that. And then once we get there, we can draw an ear. And the ear is somewhat like a C shape, which is really self-explanatory. And then the ear hole, I have a specific style of drawing that. A lot of other drawing styles may use something similar, but the way I'm drawing it would be a backwards letter H. Or if I'm drawing the face facing to the left, then it would look more like a letter H, but in this case, it's going to be a backwards letter H or an upside down number four. Like, when you see this shape, you'll kind of get what I'm saying. But it looks like this, pretty much. Okay? And now, after drawing the ear, we're going to take this point where the ear connects to the other part of the face and begin to draw the neck. So I'm going to make another parenthesis symbol for the neck. And that's going to be the back of the neck. And then I'm going to make a smaller version of this line on this part of the face over here. And that's going to be the other part of the neck, the other contour in this case. And then I'm going to make a curve that connects both those lines down here. Okay. And then right there where we started to draw that curve, I'm going to draw a little X right here and an X right here. We can draw like a little sloping line and that's intended to be the shoulders see and now we can begin to draw all the facial features the eyes nose and mouth we already drew the ears so let's go back up here to where this line intersects we're not going to draw the nose because i know i said earlier that the nose starts there but let's draw the eyes first because the eyes are supposed to lie on this line and then once we draw the eyes we can work our way down and then back up to the eyebrows that's something i really should have said at the beginning of the video but it happens so coming off where these two lines intersect i'm going to make uh, a top bun of a hamburger kind of shape because that's my specific style for drawing eyes so my eyes will look like this and it'll come really close to the contour of the face and that's okay and we're going to make a slightly bigger version of this shape on the other side of this center line. So it's going to be over here 
It's gonna lie on this line too. So hamburger shape. And it's gonna sit on our center line. Okay, and then right here where these two lines intersect, now we can begin to draw the nose. So I'm gonna curve down and out like this, sort of matching this cheek shape. And then constructing the rest of the nose. Give it a nostril and like a letter C shape like that and then I can begin to draw the mouth which is just one swift pencil stroke that's the way I like to draw the mouth because I'm not gonna go all out with the face expression just gonna make just a simple character smiling at whatever and then I'm gonna make a smaller version of this mouth line right underneath it and that's intended to be the chin so it's gonna look like that. And now let's finish up the eyes. So the part of the eyes where there's color, that's called the irises. And to do that, it's just one big circle inside of this semicircle shape. And my character is gonna be looking towards the right. So I'm just, so I'm just gonna draw two of those inside the two eyes. Like that. And then let's come above the eyes and begin to draw the eyebrows. Now you may notice that these eyes are kind of arc shaped. So the way I like to make my eyebrows is I like to make the eyebrows arc shaped as well. So they're gonna match the curve of the eyes like this. But when I draw the eyebrows, I don't wanna stop there because I wanna thicken part of the eyebrows. So right here close to the center line here, that's when I like to make the eyebrows super thick. And then coming away from that line, that's when the eyebrows kind of taper. So it's gonna eventually come to a point like that. And see how it's very thick over here in this area. An area that I can color in toward the point. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. And then color that in. All right, and now we got our face. So the only thing left to do is to add the hair. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can draw the hair on your face, but if you wanna learn from me how to draw hair, I got a whole playlist up here called Cadillac's Barbershop and Hair Salon. And in that playlist, I give you all my how to draw videos on hair, different hairstyles, and all kind of stuff just like that. So a link to that will be up here in the card, and there will also be a link to that playlist in the description. So you have two ways to get there, but in my case, I'm just gonna draw in any kind of hairstyle for my original character. And specifically, the hairstyle is gonna look similar to um, the character Gerald from Hey Arnold, where he has like a sort of an afro kind of shape. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's gonna look something similar to this. Give him like a little shape up. And then he has tall hair with a flat top. Something like that. That's the way I like to draw my original character or the hair on my original character. But let's come back down here to the next so I can add one more detail. So what I am gonna do down here is give my original character like a hoodie. So I'm gonna come off of this center line right here on the body almost. And I like to make a curve up that comes around the neck. And then another curve coming off of the neck that matches that curve and comes back to the body. And then make another one right underneath it. Okay. And then I'm going to make another one on the other side, but of course it's going to be a little bit smaller because this face is at a three quarter view. So we're not going to see exactly what's on this side on this side. And I'm going to come even closer to the center line so that way the drawing kind of makes sense. And then my original character, I know you guys have seen him before. He kind of wears a jersey with the number 13 on it. I'm gonna make it look as if he's wearing a jersey. Not much else I can do about that, but yeah, that's what I got so far. 
So what I am gonna do is take this illustration, ink it, give it some color, and then come back to you guys and show you what that looks like. So let's go. All right, and there you go. That's how you draw the face at a three-quarter view. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of drawing tutorials, speed drawings, art challenges, and more. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I